I don't know about you guys, but it is still quite chilly where I'm located. We're in zone seven and depending on your zone, it might be chilly where you are too, which means that you can't always plant your seeds in the ground. But if you're looking to get a beautiful garden this spring, summer, fall, then you're going to have to start putting in the work now. So we're going over a cheap and pretty easy build to do your own DIY seedling tower, uh, seedling starter that has grow lights in it. I'll link down all of the items down below, but this is going to be a quick time lapse of the build and then we'll connect after. We'll go through some of the elements, why it's great, and I hope you guys enjoy this video. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Danielle of the Split Arrow Farm. Welcome to our channel and let's get on with the build. Of what we built. So to hold everything we just got a really sturdy shelving unit that has five shelves on it. This is gonna allow us to have a lot of room. We're keeping storage on the top shelf because there's no lighting up there and then on the bottom shelf we have some things that can be in a shaded area so they might get a little bit of that but not too much of the actual lighting. In regards to the lighting systems that we have, we have a timer that we have at the outlet area and this allows us to turn on and off the lights so at night the lights are not going to be on. This is next to our actual living room where our TV is and where we eat so we just don't want those really bright lights in our area so that does do it there. If you have certain lights that you need or certain times that you want it on and off for the type of variations that you're growing, this is also going to be helpful for that. Now I have all the lights off but I'm gonna go ahead and turn them on and because they all connect to one another, you can actually have them just plugged into one outlet and then the cords are going from one another. So this top light is plugged into the next layer, which is plugged into the next layer, which then has the one outlet similar to Christmas lights on a Christmas tree. And then what's really nice is they just have a nice string similar to a ceiling fan that you can pull down for each of those lights and turn on. And we just crisscrossed them to more just look better to the eye. We corded up all of the cords so that they're not hanging around or in the way when you're going around. These grow lights are specific to the type of plants that we're going to be growing, so I'll include a link of what we have below. And then inside of here, we're using a grow tray. For our system, we're using these 72 cell grow trays. We used them last year and had a really great success with them. We're able to reuse them, which is really nice because it is a cost saver. And they have some nice lids as well as a tray down below. You can keep water in and you don't have to worry about watering because it kind of creates its own ecosystem. And what's nice here is we're able to double layer these on the shelves. So in this row, we actually have four of the different trays, same with the, tr the system down below. And then above, we actually did some bigger test items that we're testing out. Uh, we did a video the other day on growing tomatoes out of a full tomato that we're still working on. So you'll definitely want to stay tuned to see how that actually works. If it's possible, we're doing a nice little hypothesis testing there. And this is the whole system. So far, we're really excited with this build. It was low cost. It really didn't take too much time to set up. It doesn't take that much room in an area. And I'm going to link down everything below so you can build your own. I hope you enjoyed this video, found it informative, and best of luck in your growing season. We're going to be posting a lot more videos on building out our actual full garden, adding these little guys 
to our garden, and so much more. So you'll definitely want to subscribe and become a part of our journey. See you guys again next time. Bye.